Hi, Gisela Sanchez here with AFG Living. I'm Gisela, obviously Sanchez. <laughs> oh, shit, we're not. Melissa, Vanessa here. <laughs> we're not gonna. We're not gonna cut this. We're just being who we are. Yeah, exactly. You guys, um, you know, Melissa and I, we work together. We do real estate together, and I know that God has placed us both together for not just real estate sales and making it happen, but also to do God's work. Oh yeah, life and everything. Right, yep. so let's let's just get down to it. Let's talk about, you know, what we were talking about earlier and, and how like where we're at right now in life and how that's affecting people and spiritually and everything like that. So yeah, I'll go ahead and let you open up with the direction. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yay. Let's get started. All right. So there's been a lot going on. Um, obviously we've got, we've got a war zone in social media right now. Yes, we do. Um, with prayer, repetition, and trying to be positive. Um, I, we, I really wanted to do this video to remind everybody that we need to be that light. Mm -hmm. The change that we want to see, the light, the love, the difference that we really want to see, we have to mirror that. So, and I don't want to convict or condemn or anything like that, but I just, it's more of a reminder. I have to remind myself as well. I'm not perfect. We're not perfect. No one is in this world. Um, but remember guys that everyone is watching. Yes. The words we use, how we treat others, the rejection, um, the condemning. Just remember that there is a God. Whatever season or life you're in, there's a God that really likes you. More than that, he loves you. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, in our past, we were never, you know, perfect people. We, 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 we no. live the party lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We've been have. there. We've done that. Right. But since our surrender and our salvation, I mean, God has taken the reins. He's the CEO of our business every single day. And let's talk about him being a CEO in our business, because yeah. I know a lot of people who are Christians and um, they're just scared to even share like, yeah, yeah, this is my faith, mm -hmm. let alone who they voted for. Mm -hmm. But let's go ahead and talk about like how important it is to actually invite God into your business. It's so crucial. I mean, it's like the lifeline of, of your business, of your world. I mean, um, it starts first with you. I, I just started this new um, routine, this new lifestyle of waking up between trying to join four, but I'm um, trying to match my husband, but <laughs> 530, to, 530 to six every day to, to get up to get a workout in, but, but really to give God the CEO of my business, my, my first, first attention, um, because I know that meeting with him, I know that everything else will align mm -hmm. in the way that he wants my business to run. I know that if I do it my way, it'll never go the best way and his way it will always be 100. And so I just know that, um, starting this year, getting up early and actually reading his word, I've learned the heart of God, the, the, the heart of Christ, um, going from the Old Testament and really taking my time to know what he's about, you know, how am I supposed to run a business, my own, run, run, run the home life, kids, husband, um, how am I supposed to treat others? I mean, if we really dig deep and, and listen to what he's saying in his, in his word, we're going to go ahead and we're going to incorporate that in our daily lives. We're going to remember that morning what he just told us. Right. Right. And, and if, if you think about it, you just said he is the CEO of our business. Exactly. If you are working for somebody, so in this case, let's just say the CEO, he's going to tell you each step to take. He's going to tell you, do this. I want you to go there. I want you to actually work on this particular file. I want you to do this for this particular client. But if you do not allow the CEO to actually direct each step, then you're going to be doing things on your own as an entrepreneur. And as an entrepreneur, we know that it's hard and it's difficult, but yet when we don't have the CEO, God himself directing our steps, then we're more than likely are going to fail. We might get to a certain destination and we think that's all great and everything like that. But in all reality, 
if you were created for a specific purpose, which you have been, God is actually going to show you, look, Gisela, look, Melissa, this is the journey that I have for you. Oh, no, jump over that rock and skip over there and take a swim over there because this is where I have you. I'm actually going to put you on this island for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So God is actually wants to direct each step so that so that when you are living your exact calling, you are li living in freedom, straight freedom. Oh, yeah. It's liberating. You know? for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, have you ever had anybody tell you, hey, do not bring God into the mix in your business? I have, actually. Um, I, I can go way back before real estate days where it was separated. It was, we don't, we don't say Christmas, right? When the holidays came, when it was a, a team um, holiday. Crazy. Oh, uh, it was it was crazy to I, me. I purposely say um, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry <laughs> Christmas. I mean, it's it is it is yeah. it is everything that I am. It's, yeah. it's 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 everything in my life. So, um, That's but I we but I, we were just talking about this too before the video. You uh -huh. know, um, for a couple of years now since doing real estate, I I was I've had I felt like I've had the enemy just in my mind, just saying that I needed to keep, uh, you know, my faith everything going well in, in, in my walk with Christ, my relationship with Christ. Like I put some nuts and uh, nuts and bolts out there, you know, here and there. But, um, but at the end of the day, God literally is not just my CEO, but the partner of my heart. Oh, so I love that. It's kind of being a little bit vulnerable here, but yeah. I know that I want to share that with you guys. I want to share that with you guys more often because it's important. It's important to remind our family, our friends, the people that we care about, people that are are, are really hungry for change right. and want to be different and want to do different. And there is. And there is. There's so many people out there, especially mm -hmm. during these times when, when it's crazy and people are losing jobs and sick and, and single parents out there trying to, trying to make a, trying to make a way. And, um, I just want to remind you guys that you can find hope, you can find purpose and you can find the desires of your hearts and all the needs that you need and require, God wants to do that. Yeah. It's just that He's waiting for you to, to grab come on to Him, tight. and make it happen, and yeah. build that relationship with Him. Give Him your all, and He'll give you more than you can even imagine. And that looks like like what you were saying earlier is just like spending time with Jesus. You know, yeah, like reading His Word, like coming into your quiet place wherever that is, and just closing the door and just pray, you know, it's like, how are we supposed to get any wisdom when we're out there looking everywhere else? But yeah, we don't just come to our zone with God himself. Like you said, the partner of your heart. Yep. Yep. You know what, what God was showing me is that like, it's like, okay, you want to think about God, like in a relationship status. Right. And it's like, he's, he's a friend of yours and, but he's a friend that you never give time to. Think, mm. think about friends that you have in your life and maybe they're Facebook friends, maybe they're old friends, but think about the friends that you are very close with. I mean, these are the friends that you call all the time, you text message all the time, you're constantly talking to them. Right. That's who Christ wants to be in your life. Right. And in your business. Yep. Yeah. I mean, in anything, I mean, whether you're doing the dishes or you're, it's chaotic with the kids or you're driving a, a long commute. I mean, building that relationship, even if you're frustrated, even if you have to vent, even if, I mean, he literally wants to be a part of your everyday mm -hmm. life. Um, so that way he can, he can make the changes necessary, um, that you, that you need. Um, and that, and then this way we don't just go off grabbing onto the next thing that we think is better. Yeah. You know, exactly. I mean, cause as women, we're moms for some of us. We're moms, we're business women, we're wives. Yep. There's chores that we have to get done. There's kids that we need to feed. There's just ourselves that we need to tend to, you know? And yeah. and sometimes it's like, but wait, I don't even have time for God. But you have to remember that it is the number one most important thing that you grab a hold on to first. And as much as you can throughout the day so that you're constantly being recharged. And like I was sharing earlier in another video is that we are a vessel. And so when you think about being like a vessel, what mm -hmm. happens when a vessel has gunk in it? Mm. Or there's like, you know, it's yep. slime or whatever. The, it's just not clean. So whatever, whatever is coming through the vessel, it's going to be the same thing. But God wants to use you. He wants to shine through you. He wants to use each and every limb from you. And in order for him to do that, you have to be 
you have to purify yourself. You have to fast every now and then, you know, you have to connect with God. Right. And that's what God's been showing me, you know, like what is it that you're, what's in your life that you have to weed out? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and also remind your guys, like, um, you don't have to come to him feeling like, you know, you're, you got it together no. or you're perfect or you've got it going on. Um, he actually uses the, the weak, the weakness inside of us so he can actually reveal how huge he really is. Uh, a lot of times we envision this God in the clouds, with the rainbows and the kumbaya. No, <laughs> no, um, he's dangerous. Like <laughs> our God. He's a warrior. Um, like in a snap of a finger, he can call what he wants to yeah. call. Um, and I don't mean that to scare anybody or, or, or rush people away. I'm just saying that he, he does want relationship with us. He has grace and mercy on us yeah. to wait on us. So he doesn't have to make that call here on earth. Um, but he wants to use us. He wants to use you. He wants he, he has given you the gifts and the abilities to do what he has borne you with. And they're in there. It's just like the Holy Spirit's in everybody, but it just needs to be activated. It's like a, it's like a lamp, right? It's, if it's not plugged in, we're not plugged into him. So good. So just mm -hmm. remember guys, I came in super and I, and, and again, I'm going to come in with vulnerability. I came in super super broken like just think of it like a broken light bulb yeah exactly i mean he yeah. he works through the weak the weaknesses of us he of, uh, and us. he and he molds us you know he's the potter we're the clay so he's gonna mold you into everything he has destined you to be so you have gifts you have blessings in the future it's just that he he needs you to come to him and mm -hmm. and, and get activated you know, and that's exactly what that happened for me. It was a surrender. It was, I'm doing, I, I, my way is not, not working. I'm going, you know, in a circle, um, not finding my destination. And, um, he humbled me. He started with, with a, with a humble season, a humble, um, time frame, and then was able to go ahead and build me back up. That's what he always does. You notice that if you think of everyone's life who comes to know God, like yeah, he humbles them. He like strips away everything that feels comfortable. Yeah. And maybe you're in this time right now in your in your life, this season of like humility and humbling, and you're like, well, this is not fair. I don't understand. My life is going this way. I, I don't have any money in the bank account, whatever the case is. I'm receiving free clothing from the church. I've been there. And it's like, God is humbling us. Like he's stripping everything away. And he did this to Job. He stripped everything away yeah. just to be like, look, here I am. You know, I've been with you all this time. Oh yeah. Dang. It's oh so yeah. Good, it's humbling. Huh? Like once you get to get out all the mess out. Too. When he parts that sea, right? God, you could see in the Bible, he's done things over and over and over again, right? Mm -hmm. Job was one. He he was wealthy. He had so many things going on. Kids. I mean, I mean, he had everything. Um. Well, you know, the enemy tested his faith and basically went to God and said he. You know, he's actually not, you know, strip him away from everything and see what he does with it. Well, he was, he was stripped. He was, he was, I mean, everything. There was everything naked. Naked. To the point he had no clothes. He, his kids died. His, I mean, everything. He lost and, his farm. And still he remained. Uh, he remained faithful. Knew, faithful and knew whose he was. Mm -hmm. um, and so once, once we're stripped or at the end of the, at the other side, you're going to be in such a different a different um thickened skin for one and another thing uh, an abundance of gratitude um for where you started and where god is taking you into where you're at so remember you have something going on ahead of you and just don't give up on on yourself don't give up on on your why mm -hmm. but most importantly if you do it his way um it's gonna be it's 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 gonna be a game changer like mic drop <laughs> It's true. It's so true. It's so true. Just keep it easy and follow God's way. That's all you got to do, you guys. And to end this note, I just want to say one thing. I know we started out with um, the craziness of going on with politics, um, but I just want to remind you guys that there's so much hate and so much rejection and so much um, bad mouth on, on social media. Just remember who you are, mm -hmm. whatever you believe in and have and, 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 and like and and. and are striving for love and striving for good things in other people 
just be that change, be that light because we need more of that right now and more than yes, ever moving do. forward. So just don't fuel into the debates, don't fuel. And I get it, we all want a voice, we all want a platform to, to say our opinion, which is, yes, I, I believe in that strongly, but just remember to have control, have self-control and be slow to speak, quick to listen. It's one thing I have to remind myself. Um, quick, yeah, quick to listen, slow to speak, that's in the word. And um, it, it'll take you a long way with, the, with, with just that, that scripture right there. Amen. 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 Well, you guys take care. God bless you. And thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. See you guys next time. Bye.